I go straight to your guidance for the year, which is that you predict sales growth in local currencies of 7 to 10 percent and EBITDA margin of 35 percent. These are quite ambitious things to promise the market. How confident are you? Are you 100 percent confident of hitting those numbers? Well, I think that the important thing is that we've started the year as we expected to start the year with a moderate growth. And, uh, and we feel comfortable with the guidance we put into the market. What I'm really happy about is the development that we've seen towards our strategic ambition. We've seen a very, very nice development in our e-commerce in the first quarter of the year, which grew by 50 percent. We have introduced a number of, of new products, which is one of the things which is really important for us in Pandora, because that's where the consumers resonate with us. And then we have also opened a brand new facility in Thailand. So all in all, we start the year as we expected, and we are on track to meet our full year guidance. Talk to me about those new products and in terms of the margin. If I think of what people can buy at Walmart or on Amazon or on Etsy, you know, you're getting, you're getting what? Fish, Jesus, fish heads at four bucks twenty-five. You get poodles at four bucks ninety-five. I'm talking about the charms business. Your Mother's Day charms are fifty-five dollars. Isn't isn't the fact of the matter that you've got expensive product? Well, the wrong product at the wrong price in one of the biggest markets, America. No, I think that we we ha we are what we call affordable real jewelry, and what you have to uh, to recognize is even though our volume is 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 very big, we are the biggest manufacturer of real jewelry in the world. We still work in the materials of gold and silver, and uh, and in that area we are definitely affordable, which is very much recognized by our consumers. Absolutely, and quality goes with that, and that, and that is about the brand, and, and I get that, and I understand the brand, and I've seen the shops, I see it on the King's Road, etc. Um, but talk to me about your Asian business, because that's dropped, I, I can see here in the first quarter, a drop of about 9% compared with last year. What is going on? What is the reason behind this perhaps slowdown in, in, in your China sales? Why? Well, if we look at China in itself, we had a growth in the quarter of 16 percent, and you can say by nature that could be a good number. Our expectations were definitely higher. So uh, we've dug deep into the Chinese business and also made a plan which will come in force over the next three quarters. The couple of things that we see is that we are the most recognized jewelry brand in the world. And being that comes with the territory of people uh, trying to, to sell your products uh, in, in, in the gray market. So we've seen quite a pickup over the past few months in, in, uh, in other people selling our products online, bought in other parts of the world. So that's one of the, of the things that we are looking at and we are addressing. The other thing is our marketing spend. We have increased that over the years, but we can see there's an opportunity for us to do even more in the Chinese market. And we're going to do that for the remaining part of 2018. Look, we've touched on product and we've touched on, on, on geography. Help, help our viewers understand U.S. retail right now. Are you calling, are, are we overcalling the death of the mall in the United States of America? Well, I think that what we've seen in this quarter is a stable development. That's actually, if you want anything, a little bit positive because that's the first time we haven't seen a decline, but we haven't seen anything improving there. If we look at our footprint in the U.S. market, we're very happy with the stores we have. They're all profitable, and, uh, and, uh, and we are placed in, in the right malls in, in America with our 380 stores. So. Uh, well, you can run a really good business in the U.S., but clearly what you've seen over the past quarters is that we've seen a, a slowdown in retail. It was flat this quarter. We'll see how it develops. I think for us, the important thing is really not so much looking at how the market is doing, but what we can do in the market. Yep. And the U.S. consumer is, as any consumer around the world, very focused on new products. And uh, for us, adding a lot of newness into the market in 2018 is one of the things which we expect will help us also improve in the U.S.